So I did it. I finally did it. I decided to take the leap of faith and put everything that I'm doing under one alias and identity. And that is my personal name, Kenan Pearson. So you can find me now for all my live streaming, my graphic design, my photo work, and my YouTube stuff all under the name Kenan Pearson. Now, why is this important? So it's really easy to be able to promote yourself, especially if you're on multiple platforms like I am, to have everything un be under the same name. So today's tutorial is actually about something where you can show that off in a specific medium. And the specific case I'm gonna show, it's something that you're gonna see in this tutorial that I use for my live streaming whenever I have my face cam, whether I'm on a display doing design or I'm gaming. But you can obviously use this in different ways. As a quick reminder, I do live stream on Twitch on Tuesday and Thursday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be adding more dates to the schedule soon, so be sure to follow me and hit the notification bell so that way you can know when I go live, and I will be giving you guys updates once I start to add more to the schedule. I do gaming, I do designing, I do talking, I do a little bit of everything, so come in and be social. Let's talk about this stuff on stream, let's talk about gaming, let's just have some fun being creative online together. So without further ado, we're gonna hop into Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how I set things up and then I'm gonna import it into After Effects to finalize the animation. And of course you can do all of this with different programs, but I personally use Adobe products. So this will be done in Adobe products for the tutorial. So let's jump right into it. So as you can see right above me, you actually got to see the little animation. You'll get to see it through the duration of this video. I wanted to show off all the platforms that I'm on plus the name that it's on. Now, obviously, how you work usernames for each one is different, but it is all under Kenan Pearson. So you can see in this Photoshop file that I made, I have Twitch icon, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok, and then the name. This was really easy to set up. You can do this in different colors. You can find these icons online. Uh, just make sure you search the name plus, so maybe say twitchlogo.png, so you're not having to edit it out. And you can usually find a transparent copy and just color it however you need. I'm doing this image in the full 1920 pixel size, so that way it's highest quality when I create it, but obviously it's gonna be scaled down. But if I ever wanted to use it in a higher quality, it, I have it like this. So what we're gonna do is turn off our black background because we don't need it, and we're gonna save out each layer individually. Now, you could do this in other platforms a little differently, but this is how I did it for kind of a speed run. So save out Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, and then the username. And then before I exit out, I make sure to just put everything back the way it was. So if I need to make any quick edits, I can easily look at it instead of having to shuffle through a lot of stuff, which it's important to have good file management. So you're not constantly like, what is this layer? What does it mean? So now that we're done with Photoshop and everything saved over, let's hop on over to After Effects. So now you can see that I have everything set up and I wanna make sure you guys are clear on this, but I wanted to, just for ease of putting this tutorial together, I have already set up the animation that I want on the Twitch icon, but you can obviously figure out how I'm gonna do it based on the next few steps. So I have everything lined up the way I want the composition is just like the previous one, it's sized to a full 1920, but it's cropped height-wise just to make sense for the text itself, so you're not having to create a mask for the animation I'm about to show you. Let me put the quality to full. So you can see how I already have the Twitch icon. It's already moving in and out, and I have this at about 10 seconds, because you do want to show your name for a little bit of time, the animation is just so if someone's watching constantly, something changes and it catches their eye. And this should be a really simple animation. So it comes in, and it comes out, and there's a brief period of time, it's about a second and a half, where there's nothing there before it loops again. The way I like to do this, to make sure that the speeds are universal, but I'll show you how to stagger it, the first thing we're going to do, you have everything stacked the way you want. I'm gonna put it at, what is this? We're gonna put it about here. This is where we want everything to be up by at that speed. We're gonna select all the layers that we're applying this to and hit P for position. Now, what we'll do, because they're all selected and we're gonna be having uniform animation in this case, we're gonna hit the little stopwatch and it'll create a point on the timeline and that fixates it to where it is currently. So I'm gonna go back to the other one and because we want this animation to be the same as the Twitch one that I did, I can see 
you can either drag it down or if you want it to be exact like I would you can look and see so on the y-axis it has a value of 180 so I'm going to click just one of them type 180 hit enter and boom it slid everything down you can see the line here that shows you where it is if I just hit play as it is boom it all comes up which is really cool if I was doing a really quick thing like in a YouTube channel or whatever this would make sense but this is something that's constantly looping while I'm doing a live stream and the live stream can last an hour to three hours to four hours however it goes so it's good to have a little bit of animation going here so I've got that the way I'm going to stagger it, I'm going to click and select and highlight all the other layers that I'm changing. And what I'll do is I'll grab the first diamond. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the start point of, if my times would stop getting in the way, <laughs> I'm going to have the starting point come in right when the previous layer ends. And I'm going to continue to stagger it for the other ones. So I'll deselect, do the same. I'm holding shift while I'm dragging to keep everything snapped and then the last one boom so now it should be like this really simple now the way we animate it the way I'm going to end it is basically going to be the exact same order it's going to go twitch Instagram YouTube Twitter TikTok, the name and then it's silent you could do it in the reverse order but the way I'm going to show it is just a reverse of it's the same order, but everything's going down now instead of coming up. So here I have my Twitch. Again, I already had set this up, and this one will be the first one. So we're going to go and select all our layers, do the exact same thing again. But before we put in our values, what you can do is you press this diamond, which <laughs> if you select everything collect correctly, it will work. Boom. Oh, no, it's not working. I love to show you guys these mistakes so you don't feel like it's there we go okay so as you can tell it made those diamond points now what that does is if you were to put another point in another position then from when you brought it up it would immediately start changing so what having another point on the timeline does with the same value is it basically tells your program that hey I want it to stay in place from this point to this point so now that I'm there same as before, go to the other one, copy the same value, which again is 180 on the y-axis, and then we're going to stagger it again. So we're going to highlight the ones that we are moving, and you can shift for deselect as well, but I just want to make this as easy as possible. Select, and last but not least. And there we go. Now like I said, I have a moment where it's blank and that's on purpose because I do want it to not immediately cycle back but have like a quick moment where there's nothing there so then when it comes up it makes an impact just like that so the last thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna com control a or command a if you're on Mac and I'm going to have them all selected we're gonna go to file export render queue you can see I already did this so what you can do, you can have it be however you want, name it how you want, save it, all that. But the most important thing you need to do is this. You need to click lossless and under video output where it says RGB, click that under channels and go to RGB alpha. Now, why is that? The reason why is so that way it saves the image, but it saves the transparency as well. So if I hit OK and if I were to turn off the illustration or sorry, the uh, transparency, you can see all that's there is that text. So what that setting does is it tells when you're exporting, hey, I need my stuff to show, but it don't need a background. So you're not worrying about cutting it out or keying it out, putting in a different blending mode. No, you're already done. It's got a transparent background. You render it out and you're good to go. And just to show you guys the final product real quick, we're going to pull it up. Boom, super smooth. Stays on for a quick moment, sits there, and then boom goes back in reverse and you have that obviously didn't loop on this program but that's what it would look like and that's it it's a super super simple tutorial a really easy animation you're not having to worry about masks to have it come out of a certain point because we have a really really small cropped um, artboard that you're working within or image size so that way when things come in and out of frame 
it, you're not having to animate it a little simply. So you can do this with different colors, different fonts. Uh, you could do this in Illustrator and have everything be vectorized when you bring it in, but I'm so familiar with Photoshop and I'm doing things at a high quality for something I'm gonna shrink down. It just made sense to me to just go ahead and do that. But I mean, I'm pretty happy with it and I'm looking forward to having it more in my streams and in other content just like this. So thank you all so much for tuning in to another tutorial of mine. I'm trying to find a lot of these small things that I'm improving for myself that I can deliver to you guys. And one hope I have in the future is also to make things that I can deliver on that I can just hand you and say, here, use it if you want. And I'm gonna start giving you project files. And if that's something you'd like me to do where I'm adding project files or raw files for photos, just leave me a comment down in the section below just to tell me, hey, what are you looking for in tutorials? And I'll take that in mind. If you liked what you saw, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't been on my channel before so you can keep up with updates as I come along with new tutorials, uh, VODs from live streams and all the other stuff and hit the bell notification just so you're notified when it's new stuff is coming up. And thank you again. My name is Kenan Pearson. You can find me on all platforms now under my name and I look forward to having y'all on Twitch talking about this very stuff, commenting in the section down below so we can talk about design and photo and all this fun stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video. See ya.